Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Pam's Harvest Craft in Minecraft 1.15.2. But as you can see here, it's Pam's Harvest Craft 2. That's because Pam's Harvest Craft has actually kind of branched off and went into a different mod set for Minecraft 1.15.2. Now you have Pam's Harvest Craft food, Pam's Harvest Craft crops, and Pam's Harvest Craft trees. There will also be a Pam's Harvest Craft food extended mod coming, and as soon as that is released, it'll be in the description. But it's not out when I'm making this video, so it's not down there currently. I'm not going to be installing it in this video. However, it's installed just like the rest of the Pam's Harvest Craft 2 mods that we're going to be installing here today. So this is going to add pretty much everything that you expect from Pam's Harvest Craft into Minecraft 1.15.2. It just allows you to choose if you don't want some of it. For example, if you don't want the trees from Pam's Harvest Craft, only want the crops and the food, you can do that. If you only want the food, you can add that in. If you only want the crops, you can add that in. All these mods can be used separately. It gives you a lot more customization, and, you know, choosing what you want. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNOS protected in Minecraft server. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. And you can even create a modded server on Apex and run Pam's Harvest Craft on that server so you and your friends can enjoy the mod together. So it's an incredible service. We absolutely love Apex. And again, you can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into Pam's Harvest Craft and get this installed. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to the description. Now there's three mods down there, just go ahead and open them all. So you've got Pan's Harvest Craft 2, food, Pam's Harvest Craft 2 crops, and Pam's Harvest Craft 2 trees, right? So open all three of these mods. You don't have to install all three of them, but I would recommend it if you want the full effects of this mod here. So let's go ahead and once we're here, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.15, and then under that you will see a Pam's HC2 food core, and then click on the purple download button there. That's then going to take you off to a page where after a few seconds your download will begin automatically. Down here in the bottom left you can see the download is down here. You will need to keep the file it's safe to keep it as long as it says pam hc2 in it the in like the title and it does now mozilla firefox you need to save it in the center of your screen same thing as long as it says pam hc2 you are safe to save it you want to repeat this process again with the crops mod so right hand side scroll down until you see that minecraft 1.15 section click the purple download button on the version under that after a few seconds it will again download right like so and then you will need to keep it in the bottom left safe to keep as long as it says pam hc2 in the title save it in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox Fox. Now, I'm not going to go through this entire process again. I'm just going to do it on the last mod, but it's the same process. Right hand side, 1.15 come off of this page, save the file. Pretty simple stuff. After that, we'll have all three of Pam's Harvest Craft mods downloaded. And boom, there we go. We can go ahead and keep it. Now, we aren't done just yet, though. We still need to download one more thing, and that one more thing is Forge. Forge is required in order to run the Pam's Harvest Craft mod. Basically, it makes it work in Minecraft. So, nevertheless, you can come here. This is going to be, I believe, the fifth link in the description down below. It's our download Forge link. This is actually our tutorial on getting Forge in Minecraft 1.15.2. It goes through every single step. However, I will say we are going to be going through this in this video, but if you have any issues with Forge, this tutorial is what's going to help you out. Go ahead and click on this green Download Forge button once you're on the site. Then you want to confirm it says MC 1.15.2 here. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on the 1.15 on the left-hand side, and then click on 1.15.2. That will take you here where you can find under Download Latest here the Installer button. So as long as it says MC 1.15.2 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That will take us off to Add Focus where stop, don't click anything on this page, don't click a single thing. I I said, don't click anything. Don't you do. Nope, your download is not ready. It is lying to you. All you want to do on this page, the only thing that you want to do on this page is click that red skip button in the top right. Just click the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that, it's going to download in the bottom left a file with Forge in the title. If it does say Forge down there, if it does, go ahead and click Keep. If it doesn't say Forge, just click Discard and click that red skip button in the top right and Forge will download. Keep the file. Now Mozilla Firefox, again, it'll open up in the center of your screen and you'll need to save the file, but that is after clicking that red skip button. Don't click on anything in the center of this page here. Now we can close out of that. And now if we minimize our browser here on my desktop, I have Pam's Harvest Craft Food, Pam's Harvest Craft Crops, Pam's Harvest Craft Trees, and Forge. They also have these temporary files that we can just kind of drag out of the way. Those will be gone here in a second whenever these have finished downloading. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. So go ahead and search downloads right here. Click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, but bottom left of your screen there, and type in downloads right like so. Go ahead and have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you will find all of these mods. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. 
Let me get them in the correct location here. There we go. So once these are on your desktop, you can go ahead and close out of your downloads folder. Now to start off, we're going to be using Forge here. Forge is basically what's needed in order to run these mods. So it makes sense we would start off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java TM platform SE binary, and then it will open up the mod system installer for Forge. However, if you don't have that option or if it, you know, doesn't open up with Forge here, or like open up automatically like this, and it gives you an error or it just airs out or if you don't have Java there at all right you don't have Java TM platform SE binary you don't have Java what do you do well no worries we have a solution and you need to download Java for your Minecraft mods you can find this in the description down below this is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods it's helped over 1.3 million people get the correct version of Java set up on their computer in order to run Java for Minecraft and get things working now if you do go through this tutorial for whatever reason and it does not work let's say your jar files don't even look like jar files let's say they look like book files WinRAR files Files, zip file, something like that. No worries, we do have a solution, and that's the jar fix. You can simply come here, download this, and run it. However, you do need to install Java before you run the jar fix. Then, after you run the jar fix, you will be good to go. So, finally, we can go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java or Java TM platform SE binary, whichever one, and then go ahead and click on Install Client there. Once you've done that, click OK, and it will go through and download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.15.2. At this point, the hard part is over. We do still have to make sure we have the Forge profile set up correctly in Minecraft. Most of the time, that's done automatically. However, if it's not, we're going to show you how to fix that. So there we go. Just like that, successfully install Client Profile Forge version 1.15.2. Go ahead and click OK there. It'll close out of that. We can drag Forge over to the side. And now we need to install Pam's Harvest Craft 2, Pam's Harvest Craft 2, and Pam's Harvest Craft 2. Basically the trees, crops, and food version of Pam's Harvest Craft. Now, to do this, it's pretty simple. Just open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once you're in the Minecraft launcher here, what you want to do is come down here to the bottom left, click on this little drop-down menu, and click on Forge. Now, if you don't have Forge in here, or if you do, you click on Forge, and it does not say 1.15.2-Forge. If it doesn't say that right there, 1.15.2-Forge under it, Maybe it says 1.12, something like that. What do you do? Well, here's what you do. Click on installations at the top, and then click on the plus new button here. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. We have two awesome survival servers, Aquatic Survival and Medieval Survival. Aquatic with a slash shop based economy, Medieval with a player based economy and 30 custom quests. And then we do have factions as well, completely custom, incredible factions over there. Rating is encouraged. We have custom tools, custom enchantments, mob coins, just so many features, factions, upgrades. It's incredible. You'll love it. And then last but not least, we have Skyblock with finch generators, OP enchantments, custom islands. It's an awesome time over there as well. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, what we want to do is go in the version drop down here. And then you want to find release 1.15.2-Forge. Mine's right up here at the top, but you might have to scroll down a ways to find yours. But here is release 1.15.2-Forge. Click on that. I'm going to change our resolution just so we can see better once we get in game. And then click create. Now you have this new profile down here that says 1.15.2-Forge under it. If it does, just hover over that and click on that green play button. Now Minecraft is going to open up. Once Minecraft opens, we'll be able to get these three mods installed. So this is basically the pre-scan, right? It's going to go ahead and scan everything and make sure that everything is kind of there for forge it is don't worry about that and then it's going to open up minecraft boom there we go minecraft is now open and now it's going to go ahead and get to the minecraft main menu and once we're on the minecraft main menu we can pretty easily install these mods like i said the hardest part is done literally all you're doing is clicking a few buttons and dragging and dropping so once you're on the minecraft main menu here click on the mods tab then click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left once you click on the open mods folder button, it's going to open up, of course, your mods folder here. Now, all you want to do to install Pam's Harvest Craft 2 is drag and drop the food, crop, and tree Pam's Harvest Craft mods that we downloaded into this mods folder. Once that Pam's Harvest Craft food extended comes out, guess what? Same thing. Just take it and drag it into this mods folder. Now, if we close out of the mods folder, come back to Minecraft, they're not here. These mods aren't here, and they're not going to be here, right? They're not going to appear until we quit Minecraft open up the Minecraft launcher again. At this time, we don't have to create a profile or do anything like that. We just have to click in the bottom left down here and select the profile that has 1.15.2-Forge on it. So click on that and then click play. Now it's going to open up Minecraft and this time in like this preloader here, you'll actually be able to see Pam's Harvest Craft, Pam's Harvest Craft, Pam's Harvest Craft, boom, the mods are there. Now, all that means is they've recognized them. It doesn't necessarily mean a mod's going to open. So in the future, if you have a mod, it's like, I see it there, but it's not, it's not opening. It's having an issue. Well, th that doesn't mean that the mod is perfect and going to open. In this case, it does mean that though, because, well, we know these mods work. 
So here we are getting to the Minecraft main menu. And now this time if we click on the mods folder, we do have Pam's Harvest Craft food, as well as Pam's Harvest Craft trees and Pam's Harvest Craft crops. So all three of the mods are there. Awesome stuff. Now we can click done. I am going to create a, a little world real quick. So Pam's Harvest Craft 2. And I'm going to make this a creative world. My computer likes to lag when I'm recording and generating a world. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're in game. Boom. See you after that. So here we are in Minecraft, and one thing I already see over here on the horizon, right over here, is a fruit tree. Now, I don't know which uh, which fruit this is, to be honest, but it is some sort of a fruit tree there. I'm actually going to have to go into, I think, survival to even harvest these, and then we will see what they are. They might not be, yeah, they're not ready to be harvested, are they? Yeah, it doesn't seem like they are. No worries. We can give myself some bone meal real quick. And I think bone meal, the bone meal these things right on up, and there we go. So we have oranges. These are oranges. Pretty cool stuff there. And you can bone meal all of these, by the way. Boom. So I, I think that's pretty good proof that these are already installed. We've already got fruit trees over here. Ooh, we've got quite a few trees in this biome. So is this another orange tree, or is this going to be something different? It looks like this is something different. We have ourselves a lemon tree over here, and then there's another tree over this way. I couldn't have planned this better. Look at this. Right over here, we have ourselves a gooseberry tree. And then is this, I think these are vanilla, um, these are vanilla berry bushes there. So nothing fancy about that. However, there are custom crops as well. Oh, we've got another tree here. What is this one? I just, I find this so cool. Just going through and harvesting these trees. This is like a chestnut. Cool. Awesome stuff. So we have all these different sort of plants and everything that have been added. If we go ahead and go back in to creative, we'll be able to see all the crops and things like that. So click over, we can see Pam's Harvest Craft crops. These are all the different crops that you can plant and grow from these seeds. Then we do obviously have the food mod and all the different food items you can make from the crops and other things that are in vanilla Minecraft even, and then all the trees with all the fruit trees and things like that. For example, if we wanted to plant, uh, you know, plant that, I always like the apple trees. I think those are pretty cool. So go ahead and grab that. And then we'll plant a cherry tree too, why not? So let's go ahead and plant this. And we can, of course, bone meal it, and boom, there we go. We now have ourselves an apple tree, just like that. And then we can plant a, whatever a lychee tree is. Go ahead and do that. Oh, that's a jungle-style tree. That's really cool. It's actually a really, really cool-looking tree. And then we can obviously do a cherry tree as well. Boom, and grow that. Now, we've shut off the trees quite a bit, right? But let's show off the crops just really quick. Uh, I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I'm just going to, like, fly over to here and plant some crops on the kind of side of this. So we're obviously going to need a hoe here in order to do all of that. And then let's go ahead and click on crops and just grab a few of these seeds, whatever this is. Boom, boom. And ooh, I saw a pineapple seed. We've got to grow a pineapple. All right. And actually, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what that was. I broke it by accident. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do some of these, right, like so. Boom, 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 and boom, and then go ahead and grow them real quick. There we go, right, like so, and grow all these. So, oh, look at that. That pineapple texture is so cool. Is tomato one as well? I forget if tomato is added. It is. Let's go ahead and plant some tomatoes, too, because why not? So, we've got ourselves tomato seed, boom and then go ahead and grow that. And there are the tomatoes. So now if we go into survival again, I can harvest all these and get, what do we have here? But tomatoes. And then I can harvest this, and that's gonna give us a Cecil, which I think might be a spice or something, I don't know. And then we have a tomatillo, which sounds like a version of a tomato. And then we do have, of course, pineapples, which is so cool to me. And then last but not least, we have our taro as well. And there are hundreds of crops. I mean, hundreds that you can choose from and grow and things like that. I mean, look at that, tons and tons and tons of different crops. It's awesome stuff. So that is how you can get Pam's Harvest Craft in Minecraft 1.15.2. With the update of this mod, I will say 1.15.2 is starting to get some of the big mods finally that we have been missing for a while now. Hopefully we will see t Tinker's Construct and Chisel to upgrade as well over time. But right now we just have Pam's Harvest Craft, which I would consider like a major, major mod with tons of different features upgrading finally. So there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It is currently a random Monday and there are 226 people online at four o'clock. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Again, we have custom survival with aquatic survival having a slash shop based economy and medieval survival having a player based economy with 30 custom quests. We then have awesome factions. As you can see, factions is now live. It just went live on April 15th and it does have custom enchantments as well as incredible factions, upgrades, mob coins, 
spawner upgrades, custom spawners, all that stuff. It is awesome. And then we do have Skyblock as well with Finch Generators, OP enchantments, and awesome stuff coming as well to Skyblock in the future as well. as just tons of awesome features. I mean, I'm not even scratching the surface with the features there with like the crates and the boat rewards and all that stuff that you get. It's, it's incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. Enjoy Pam's Harvest Craft, and I'm out. Peace.